This is Gyro Gearloose with RV Hacking on the Cheap, and today I'm going to address a viewer question of how to accurately check the level of propane in your propane tanks. Since only a few propane tanks are manufactured clear enough to actually see the level of propane, this can be a mysterious task for most people. There are a lot of methods and devices on the market for helping people check this. Unfortunately, many of the devices are complete scams, and I'll explain why in a moment. Let's start with an old school method of simply boiling water and throwing it on the propane tank. This actually works because the liquid propane will condense moisture out of the air at a different rate than where there's only vapor in the tank. However, some people are a little nervous of throwing boiling water around casually. So you might try one of these magnetic gas level indicators. These work by throwing warm water on the indicator and looking for where the temperature sensitive panel changes color abruptly. This works because the liquid propane will cool the tank faster than the gaseous propane. However, I found that mine stopped working at all after about a year. If you want to stop throwing hot water around, you could simply weigh your tank with a properly calibrated scale. However, on an RV, this would require detaching your tanks every time you want to check the level. So that's not a very good option for the RV, even though it works for your portable grill. So now we arrive at the most popular and unfortunately ill-conceived propane gauge. These unfortunately do not work very well at all, even though many people will swear by them because the needle moves. Here's my own gauge on a completely full tank, showing that I'm almost out of propane. Here's my own gauge on a tank that is mostly out of propane, saying I'm pretty much fine. Here's the gauge on a tank that was left open until it hit zero PSI, and hey, it's actually accurate for once. What the heck's going on here? Simple. You consider your tank full when it's filled with liquid propane, but you don't burn the liquid, you burn the gas. As a result, as you remove the gaseous propane from the tank, the liquid propane will boil and produce more gas. But that's not an even rate. The reason this gauge is not reading accurately is because I'm not currently pulling any of the gas out of the tank. As a result, it actually will rise to full if I gave it enough time. Liquid propane will continue to boil until the gas is back to 40 psi or so. So why does the needle move at all? That's because when the tank is more full, less propane has to evaporate in order to reach 40 psi again. When the tank is empty, more propane has to evaporate to reach 40 psi. And that's what the gauge is indicating as long as you're drawing gas. As soon as you stop drawing gas, enough will evaporate and it goes back to reading full again. When the tank gets down to about 10%, the evaporation can't keep up at all anymore and the pressure drops precipitously. Most people are familiar with this effect when they're operating their grill at home. The flame runs forever in the last 10%, but it's not very hot, because you're not really burning as much gas. A cool new option I saw just this year works similar to a stud finder. You scan up and down the tank, and it indicates where it thinks there's liquid or gas. I would assume this works, but the device costs about $40, which is a little steep for what it does. So what actually does work then? Well, you've seen it throughout this video. Many tanks actually have real gauges built into them. They're testing the level of the liquid using a float. This has always been the most accurate way of testing the propane, but only recently entered 20-pound cylinders. This has been Gyro Gearloose. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to send me any new questions you'd like me to address. Thanks for watching.